These are the highlights of day 10 of the 13th South Pacific Games from up here in Samoa. I promised you a very popular medal on the track and here it is, the men's 5,000 metres that turned into a great battle. Samoa has wrought him home to two huge gold medals. You can see him in the middle of the picture there, just above Sepulayao, number 75, the steeplechase winner the other night. So this is going to be a fantastic uh, challenge for all these guys. We've got Moss in as well. We've got the steeplechase uh, gold medalist. We've got the 800, 1500 gold medalist. We've got the 10,000 metre gold medalist. And I think that uh, fairly soon it will have to be a little bit... Uh, the pace will have to pick up. George Richmond will have to go fast early to, to absolutely run the speed out of the legs of uh, Anusay Kurin. And I wonder what Sapphire Yao, the young man or the little man from PNG, is thinking about all this as well, because uh, he as well would fancy himself amongst uh, the competitors here over this 5,000 metres. He leads at the moment in a bit of a bunch, and that looks like the man from Vanuatu just stepping it out there. That's uh, Norsian 116 from Vanuatu. And by the way, hello to all of you over in Vila. Ran into the chef de mission a little bit earlier on today and the great uh, Joe Callow. And uh, glad to hear that the pictures are being seen and enjoyed across uh, Port Vila at the moment. And I'd also like to say hello to the people in Hagen who I know are listening and also in my old hometown, Rabal. But Philip Nelsien is going away and it looks like Gapirongo from uh, Solomon Islands is chasing. The rest are being cautious. 116. At the moment is Nosien and Litoa of Samoa is right on his oh, heels. Litoa of Sorry. Samoa in second place at the moment. Nosien then is going to try and put a little bit of distance. He knows that Kareem and uh, the guys that specialize in the lesser distances have definitely got the legs to run him down. We've got 11 laps remaining. This is going to be a very interesting tactical battle over 5,000 meters. The record, incidentally, is 14 minutes 15.12, held by the great Alain Lazar and set back in 1987. Don't think we're going to see that broken here today, but if Noisian continues out with Latour of Samoa right on his heels, uh, Noisian will obviously see the shadow of the Samoan just behind him. He now comes into this freshening breeze here at beautiful Apia Park, night four of competition. Noisian there in picture, Vanuatu's big hope in this race. The toy of Samoa close behind. And then it's the bunch from where we think the winner is going to come. George Richmond, the 10,000 meter man, is in there. So too is Sepulai Yao and Onesi Karin. He's got two gold medals for Samoa already. He's going to bring the place down. I tell you what, the dominator, if he wins this one. So the class is beginning to rise here. And as we said at the outset, this is where the interesting battle takes place. The quicker, faster man over the shorter distances meeting the longer distance guys at this 5,000 meter event. I just noticed that George Richmond took a look over his shoulder. He's aware that now if he just basically runs his way through the next five laps, that uh, a bronze medal at least is going to be his. Lavi just losing touch there. You can see that he's dropped off that lead group of three, back to Norsian and Kumar of Fiji further back. The rest completely out of contention, including the other two Samoans. George Richmond just beginning to bunch. Sapolai Yao just beginning to roll his head a little bit. Just wonder whether this pace setting might be beginning to get to the little guy from PNG. Well, I think they're all fairly tired. They've all had a very heavy schedule, but uh, we're still no wiser as to find out who's going to win. But if they don't drop off Alisei Kurin, he's going to win. They must drop him off in the next lap or two. Sapolai Yao leads. Kurin is second. George Richmond is there as well. And indeed, uh, George Richmond, I've seen him put on some amazing sprint finishes over his career as well, Bob. Yes, but I've also seen him out kicked by Primo Higa in, uh, Salt from the Solomon Islands. So it all depends on how well he has prepared. We know he's good over the 10, but over the 5, we just do not know. It's an epic battle. When they come around next, they'll see four laps. Four laps remaining. They've been running about 10 minutes and 50 seconds as they come through. Four laps remain, Sapolai Yao, Kareem, it's George Richmond. They'll be thinking about what to do next. Well, Richmond, I'm sure, will have rehearsed this all afternoon, in fact, in the preceding days. But I'm sure Anusay Kareem has also done the same. He does not want to let them break away because he knows he's got superior speed in his legs. Sapolai Yao still clapping on the pace here. The little man from PNG broke through for his first gold medal in the steeplechase the other night after many years of frustration. Knows how to 
win and run tactical races now. PNG flags in the background. Anessa Kareem looking pretty comfortable, but also maybe the head beginning to wobble a little bit there. George Richmond looking pretty still, pretty steady. My sufficient pace there from the man from Tahiti. Sapalaya, Kareem there, takes a quick look over his shoulder, sees Richmond right behind him. It's going to come down to these three guys. I, it's great to see a race. The 10,000 metres the other night was a procession. It was a run. This is a race, and this is what the people have come to see. Here comes George Richmond. He's got three laps. George Richmond is beginning to make a move. Is this the do or die effort? They run three at best. They are going to give no quarter, these guys. Bure from Tahiti realises they're following. He makes room. Richmond drops in behind. Boy, there is bragging rights at stake here. Three abreast across the line. It's uh, down the back straight. Sapalai Yao is uh, being slowly shadowed by Anase Kareen, the much taller Anase Kareen. But the old wily master, George Richmond, is still there, keeping the other two well in sight so he can cover any move that they make. This is going to come down to an epic battle. If the distance guys wanted to assert their authority on this race, they're going to have to move, and they're going to have to move quick. They've already left uh, the man from uh, Tahiti, Bure. He's been left, and the two Samoans in front of them are going to go the same way in just a moment. Sapalayao leads, 75. Anese Kareem. The hero of Samoa, the dominator over the last couple of days. Here's George Richmond winding up. The two to go. Here's George Richmond and Atahi. He's beginning to make a move. He's definitely lifted the pace. Sapalai Yao responds. So does Kareem. Two laps remaining. We're 800 metres from home. Sapalai Yao still leads. George Richmond on his shoulder. Kareem covering both men. It's going to be an epic battle over the last 600 metres, I think, Bob. It's got to be fantastic. I think. Uh, the, the final lap burn-up will be something very, very special. What does Sepalai Yao have in his legs after that 3,000 the other night? Or the 10,000. This is his third serious uh, distance race. George Richmond, the winner of the 10,000 the other night. And, of course, Anessi Kareem, victor in the 800 and the 1,500 as well. So the middle distance man stepping it up, taking on the distance guys and meeting here in the 5,000. It's an epic battle on the far side of the field. You can see Team PNG roaring home this little guy from PNG who's been leading so courageously for such a long time in this race. There's Richmond. You can see that they're just now passing the other Samoan. That's uh, Lafayette. Lafayette is lapped. Here comes Sapalai Yao. Kareem still there. Richmond as well. The crowd beginning to get a sense of the occasion. They know we've got a race. And they know it's going to be an epic battle. We have one lap on the counter. The bell is just about to sound. And Messi Kareem in the yes, box seat. The he goes. And he is roared to the lead by this big Samoan. Big Samoan crowd. Sepalai Yao can't respond. Can George Richmond? And there's a Kareem. The roar goes up in the stands around us. A big roar. Sepalai Yao is stepping it up down the back straight. Richmond is holding on for dear life. And that's it, Kareem leads it out. He wants to dominate as he has at the 800 and the 1500. He wants these games. He wants these titles. Richmond now responding in the battle for bronze and silver. Sapphire Yao trying to hold him up with 150 to go. The two of them beginning to make inroads. And that's it, Kareem looks over his shoulder. This is big. Here comes the battle for silver and bronze. Sapphire Yao. Richmond. Sapphire Yao. Richmond. And that's it, Kareem the gold. Richmond wins his silver. And that's it, Kareem. Three gold medals to the Samoan. Richmond the silver and the brave man from Papua New Guinea home for the bronze. An epic battle. And the guy with the quicker legs got it here tonight. Well, they gifted him the gold. They didn't run away from him. They al almost said, well, we're going to sit and do a slow race and then you can kick by us at the end. He played his cards wonderfully. He deserved the win, but I've got to admit, the long-distance men gifted him the gold. Until the other day, Samoa had never won gold on the track. Now one man has three, and the local crowd lapped it up. There was great local expectation too at the tennis, with Yuan Langton of Samoa in the final of the men's singles.
Unfortunately for Langton, he couldn't foot it with the top seed, Michael Leong of the Solomons, who won his country's first gold at these games. Oh, the, man, six man, six man, the women's singles went to Elodie Robber from New Caledonia, and in the women's doubles, a gold medal to the very popular Samoan Perry. Mailani Ahoy and Tangi Fano Suna Lole Taosanga are known locally as the Big Mamas, and they've been a real hit with the crowd at the Apia Park Tennis Centre. Very happy that we won, and I'm glad that uh, that was my last match. It's been a long two weeks, and I'm going to go get ready and cheer, cheer on our guys and our mixed doubles. Just two days of competition at the Rugby League Nines, and Fiji have won the gold against the Cook Islands. In the context of this tournament where they haven't been scoring a lot of tries, this was a high scoring match. First try of the day to Fiji's Koroi from the scrum. Koroi got his second early in the second half. And just a few minutes later Fiji made the game safe with a try to Divavisi. Final score Fiji 14, Cook Islands nil. And in the bronze medal match, Samoa beat Tonga by 20 to 10.